You're watching the Brother Henry and You Show. Engaging. Informative. Inspirational. Enjoy today's program. Today I have the honor to have Dr. Paul Stanley on the show. He is the senior pastor of First Baptist Church of Atlanta and the founder of In Touch Ministries, which demonstrates a keen awareness of people's needs by providing practical biblical truths for everyday life. As trusted Pastor Charles Stanley comes to the later years of his life, he is ready to share his personal story on a more intimate level than ever before. As he walks us through his ups and downs, he shares how the biblical principles he's taught all his life affected the way he actually lived. In this new book from Dr. Charles Stanley, which we will be talking about today, Courageous Faith, he looks his readers in the eye and says, this is how my faith has worked for me at the most challenging times of my life and how it has led me to the victories God had in store for me. Today I will be interviewing Dr. Charles Stanley about his book, Courageous Faith. And Dr. Stanley, again, I count it as an extreme honor that you will give me the opportunity to interview you today. My joy. Thank you, sir. My first question I want to ask is, uh, what inspired you to write this book, Courageous Faith? Well, I think the primary reason is I have met so many people and met so many pastors who become very discouraged in the ministry because of the way they're treated or because maybe financial problems or oftentimes uh, they don't feel like they're accomplishing what God wants them to accomplish. So I think there's a lot of discouragement in the ministry. Yeah, that is a lot of discouragement. The The title is rather captivating because when you think about the word courageous, you think about something that's bold, that's brave, that's daring. And I believe it's one thing to have faith, but it's another thing to have courageous faith. And that title really captivated my heart and caught my eye. So uh, the next question is, what is your favorite chapter? Do you have a favorite chapter that you've written, and if so, why? Well, I do have uh, a few favorite ones, and uh, because in times of difficulty and hardship and struggles, there are passages of Scripture that God laid upon my heart that just spoke to me personally at that point, and um, I think about times that I have referred to them over and over again. And one of my favorites is Isaiah chapter 41, when he says, I've chosen you, not rejected you. Do not fear, I'm with you. Do not anxiously look about you, for I'm your God. I will strengthen you, surely I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all those who are angered at you will be ashamed and dishonored. Those who contend with you will be as nothing and will perish. You will seek those who quarrel with you, but you will not be able to find them. And those who war with you will be as nothing, non-existent. I am the Lord your God, who upholds your right hand, who holds, who says to you, do not fear, I will help you. That passage of scripture has helped me through many, many battles. That's a wonderful scripture. How would you like this book to speak to others? Well, I want it to be just what the title is, and that is it will help people to turn their focus upon God and not about their feelings toward others or maybe the way they're being treated. And there are many good men out there preaching the gospel who are not treated fairly and uh, who are oftentimes criticized with no real reason. Sometimes there may be a reason. But oftentimes yeah. it's not. And uh, it's easy for a pastor to become discouraged, especially 
If he is not in the habit of reading the word of God for himself, not looking for a sermon. And I think this is one of the fallacies that happens oftentimes. Pastor Wings, so Sunday's coming. i got to find a sermon. And oftentimes what God wants him to do is get the word for himself and the process of God speaking to him about what he's doing in his life, the message will come from that. How would you define courageous faith? Well, I'm saying courageous faith is a faith that is based upon a relationship with Jesus Christ who is promised to uphold him, strengthen him, encourage him, enable him, whatever he's faced in life. I appreciate you for uh, taking this time to uh, do this interview. And Dr. Stanley, I do not take this opportunity lightly. Uh, You inspire me and you inspire so many others. Uh, For more information about the book Courageous Faith or Dr. Charles Stanley, you can visit www.intouch.org. And again, Dr. Charles Stanley, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to take time out of your busy schedule to talk on the Brother Henry and You show today. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity. I hope you have a great day. You too, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Hi, my name's Heather. Thank you for watching the Brother Henry and You show today. If you've enjoyed the show today, visit us at facebook.com backslash the Brother Henry and You show. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.